For the latest updates on the Indian startup ecosystem, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Hello and welcome to yourstory.com. My name is Oishik Purkait. I'm Nebulina and here are the top stories from this week. With the government of India planning to toughen its stance on Chinese apps to safeguard people's data, the spotlight on India-made apps has become brighter. In many ways, it is a manifestation of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's call for the country to become more Atmanirbhar or self-sufficient. However, standards for platforms such as TikTok, WeChat, Hello and UC Browser have been enjoying a surge in the number of users and some like Trell are seeing a record number of downloads daily. One such app that's gaining traction as an alternative to Shareit and Zender is Bharat Shell, a file sharing platform that enables users to transfer files without using the internet. In an interview with Your Story, Utkar Shroy, co-founder and creator of Bharat Shell said, quote, the Indian government's ban on Chinese apps worked in our favor. We saw an opportunity to enter the market and launch Bharat Shell. The time was right and people needed to have Indian alternatives. Read more about Bharat Shell only on Your Story. The year was 1983 and License Raj was the order of the day. It involved an elaborate system of licenses and regulations and setting up of a business was a nightmare. But all this did not stop Apollo Hospital's founder chairman Pratap C. Reddy from opening the doors to India's first corporate hospital in Chennai, then Madras, in 1983. It introduced international quality healthcare to India at a cost that was a fraction of the comparable cost in the West. Many call Dr. Reddy a fool for attempting to do something so daring at the age of 50 years, and that became his strength. With over 71 hospitals across the country today, read how Apollo Hospitals revolutionized India's healthcare only on your story. This week on Product Roadmap, we take a closer look at Jaipur based DealShare, a social commerce based deals platform that provides discounts on groceries and other daily use items. In September 2018, when Vinitra Shankar Bora, Shorjendu Medda, and Rajat Shikhar started DealShare in Jaipur, they had decided to build a social commerce model that primarily targeted non-metro and middle-income Indian consumers with mass market products. The co-founder started with WhatsApp as the main channel for sales. This soon evolved into the app. The first version of the app was simple. It had a list of products and buy buttons, a simple from the addresses and was available in Hindi and English. In an interview with Your Story, Shorajindu said the app was built in-house in two weeks' time and was a viral success amongst the consumer base that was earlier buying on WhatsApp. Within 20 days of launch, we had more than 30,000 customers using the app with zero marketing spend. The key reason for this rapid success was the relevance and comfort it provided to Indian middle-income families. Read more about this only on Your Story. Coexisting with the coronavirus seems to be the only way out of COVID-19 pandemic and numerous companies are coming up with innovations to take fight to the global crisis. And the Bad-based Sunbots Innovation LLP is an iCreate-backed startup that uses automation, mobility, sensor technology and artificial intelligence to develop outdoor security and surveillance robotic systems. With the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, the startup took upon a personal pain point and pivoted to launch a UV-based disinfection device that can be used to make hospitals, clinics, offices, hotels and homes germ-free. Priced at Rs 15,000, the device can disinfect an entire room in 5 to 30 minutes. And for more updates on the current crisis, follow Your Stories Help Desk to get updates into the ongoing pandemic. For more such news updates and videos from the Indian startup ecosystem, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.